Hello everyone! You are on the Inside Football channel and today you have a very arcane but insanely interesting topic. We are all used to the image of Georgina Rodriguez, Ronaldo's perfect girl without flaws, an amazing mother and a super successful woman who earns millions even without the help of Cristiano. But today we will talk about the other aspect of the disease Spanish woman, her dark side. Of course, we will not do it ourselves, but with the help of the journalist Gerard Cousins' material for the scandalous newspaper The Sun. Next, we'll picturize the story. But before we start, support us with a like, subscribe if you are not with us yet, and write in the comment section what you think of Georgina Rodriguez. Alright, let's get started! Here we go! On Thursday, January 27, the reality show of Georgina Rodriguez, the beloved of the Portuguese star striker Cristiano Ronaldo, will be released on Netflix. In this program, the girl who will turn 28 on the day of the premiere will tell the world about her life, about how she got into a fairy tale when she met the footballer. In the video for the show, Georgina said that she knows what it's like to have nothing and have everything. Now she chills on luxury yachts, flights in a private jet, spends 32,000 euros on two bottles of wine and 174,000 euros on bags. Despite all this luxury, Rodriguez also claims that she will never forget her family, who was there for her before she met Ronaldo. However, the girl's relatives accused Georgina of ignoring them after she connected her life with a football star. So, Jesus Hernandez, who is Rodriguez's uncle, says he helped raise the girl after her father was jailed for drug smuggling. But now that she has everything, she, according to him, fenced herself off from her family. She may be ashamed of us and consider herself better than us because we don't live her luxurious life. I never asked her for anything. She's only called once or twice since I found out she was dating Ronaldo, Hernandez says. Other relatives of Georgina are also disappointed, including her half-sister, 33-year-old Patricia Rodriguez. When my son had a birthday, I asked her if she could talk to Cristiano and ask him for an autograph on a shirt for my boy. Georgina said no, as she wasn't going to bother him on vacation, Patricia said. Georgina's grandmother, Juana Escarabajal, was also disappointed. She died three years ago from heart failure, and before that, she gave an interview in which she spoke about her granddaughter. According to her, she never met Georgina's daughter from Ronaldo, Alana Martina. I only saw my great-granddaughter in a photo sent by Georgina when she was still very young, Juana said at the time. Georgina grew up in the city of Jaca in northeastern Spain. Her mother, Ana Maria Hernandez, met Georgina's father Jorge when he moved there. He was arrested the day before the fifth birthday of Ronaldo's beloved. He tried to smuggle cocaine that is worth more than 100,000 pounds. Despite all the difficulties, Georgina enthusiastically studied ballet, then went to London, where she studied English and worked as a nanny in Bristol. After she became a model, she returned to Spain and got a job in a Gucci store. It was at this job that she met one of the best football players in the world, Cristiano Ronaldo. And then her life changed forever. Now the girl, who is currently pregnant with twins, is traveling on Ronaldo's luxury Gulfstream G20 jet estimated at 24 million euros. Before Christmas, she flew to Lapland with Elena Martina and Cristiano's three other children. They also rested in a house that costs 1800 euros just to see Santa. We can also recall the appearance of Georgina at the Venice Film Festival in September last year. She's shown with diamonds estimated at 93,000 euros. In general, Rodriguez's jewelry collection is estimated at 2.6 million pounds. And recently, Ronaldo gifted her a luxurious Louis Vuitton bag that is worth 123,000 euros. The couple also has a Sphinx cat, which they bought in 2018 for 3,100 euros. Georgina lives with Ronaldo and the kids in a mansion located in Cheshire and estimated at 3.6 million euros. The house has seven bedrooms, a cinema hall, a huge garage for a footballer's luxurious fleet. As a child, Georgina didn't have such a big house and all these branded clothes. Uncle Jesus helped to raise the girl and provided a lot for the life of her and her sister. I supported Georgina and her sister. I bought them clothes, paid for water and electricity. I did everything for them. Georgina lived with me until the day her father was sent back to Argentina, Jesus says. 
The man doesn't have a mansion. He has a two-bedroom house in southeastern Spain, where he lives with his wife and child on about 775 euros. For comparison, Ronaldo receives 574,000 euros a week at Manchester United. Georgina's uncle is very disappointed that, after the death of the girl's father, and this happened three years ago in Argentina, she didn't even tell where he was buried. Moreover, she didn't even inform him of Jorge's death herself. Nobody told us that Jorge was dead. I don't know why Georgina didn't tell us. I tried to contact her. I even wrote to Cristiana on Facebook. I wrote to him. The evilest woman is on your site. If you want to know, contact me. I'll tell you. The man added. Jesus's wife Lydia said when Georgina stopped calling her relatives. On the day of Alana Martina's birth, Georgina finally stopped calling both her uncle and her grandmother. We tried to dial her, but it turned out that she had changed her number. Now everyone will know how shameless she is. Why didn't she say that her father had died? You can't hide things like that, Lydia says. Sources close to Georgina Rodriguez's family are disappointed that she's reluctant to reveal certain details about her life. I would be surprised if she spoke in detail about her father's criminal past or the tension between her and her mother's part of the family. She talks a lot and openly about her love for her older sister Ivana, but most of her admirers know practically nothing about her other relatives. In the Netflix movie, we will see Georgina the way she wants, the way she wants to be seen by fans, not the real Georgina, the source said. An interesting fact is that there will be no Rodriguez's mother, Ana Maria, and also no Ronaldo's mother, Dolores Chaveiro, in the show. Georgina herself explained it this way. This is my show, and they are not in it because the circumstances didn't make it happen. At the same time, the girl claims that she has a good relationship with her mother. My sister, mother and I have always been a family, and we are very friendly. My mother is coming to Manchester just like she came to Turin and Madrid when we lived there, she says. Georgina's show also won't include Patricia, her paternal half-sister. Before Jorge died, she said, I would like to be with him, but I couldn't see him for seven years because of the cost of the trip to Argentina. It hurts me that Georgina has only seen our dad once in all this time. My dad always says he misses us. After that interview, neither the family nor Georgina commented on it anymore. Georgina's show will be broadcast in 190 countries around the world, and about 30 million people subscribers of her Instagram account will definitely watch the program. That's the story, friends! We do not incline you to a bad attitude towards Georgina in any way, but the balance of reporting about a certain person is always appreciated in journalism. After all, each of us has positive qualities and not the best ones. Therefore, now you can be sure that you know almost everything about Ronaldo's fiancé. And now we are waiting for the premiere from Netflix, to which we will definitely make a reaction. It was Inside Football. We watch football from a different angle. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.